Well, I lied. I came back again before Christmas. In fact, uh, it was faster than I was planning on. But uh, continuing on with our little one-by-one -one series, uh, my wife has been making these little uh, arrangements with all the little Christmassy guys and stuff. And uh, she was buying these little plasticky little dollar store Christmas trees. And I'm like, we can't have that. So I made this little uh, wood Christmas tree a week or so ago. And uh, I liked it well enough. Didn't think it was worth a video. And then everybody I talked to was like, yes, make a tree carving video. I think I talked about it on the podcast too. So that's what we're doing. Random sized little trees for your little little decorations, little extra little thing. If you want to make it a Christmas tree, make it a Christmas tree. Put a bunch of colored dots on it or do whatever you want and make it a Christmas tree. But this is just a basic abstract tree from, I think I went as small as a, an inch and a half to uh, I think four and a half, five inches tall. So I've got a whole, hang on a second. That many, <laughs> I made that many. They're fast, they're fun, and they're easy. So very satisfying little project that you can whip up and you know, easily a half hour a little whittle and uh, have a little have a little tree to uh, to decorate your carvings. And uh, I think I'm gonna need a cabin in the future just to settle, set back in the bush like that. But anyway, without further ado, you know, one by one, I think I'm gonna do uh, about three three and a half inch tall ones just to show you. But like I said. After you see it once, you'll know you can make them from inch and a half to six inches. I don't care. And uh, let's do it. All right. So we got our piece of wood here. This is three and a half inches. That should fit in just about average with our, our trees here. Right. So you can go from inch and a half to whatever that is, five inches. Yeah, that one's five inches, four inches. Nice to have a variety. But anyway. This one's three and a half, and that's what we're using. So I'm just going to mark my little base there. It's about, uh, about three-eighths or so. And really, that's about it. If we want to go perfectly straight, we'll just uh, put our little X on the top for our, our center of our point. But otherwise, let's just start carving. Now, this is a fun little project. I'm just going to take off these. Uh, I'm going to set the base, base in first. But I was saying this is a, a fun little project because you can do whatever you want. It's a uh, very minimal uh, measurements, obviously one, and uh, you'll see when we get drawing after. But uh, real simple and fun. But we're gonna do things a little bit different, very little bit abstract, I guess you say, because there's no such thing as a a perfect tree to anyone who's been out uh, Christmas tree shopping you'll know darn well that uh, it's hard to find a, a good tree they're all different shapes and sizes right so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna try and encapsulate the uh, irregular tree not irregular yeah, the regular tree of these Hollywood perfect models, right? <laughs> All right, so you can see, see I'm kind of, I'm undercutting like so and cutting up to it, right? So you can see the difference from the corners here. This is fairly flat and this is on an angle. So it's going to come in like that and then I'm just going to kind of swoop into it. It's getting a little underbelly on that tree. Right. Getting all our little chips out. And we're not coming back. Look like a tree. All right, but that's about it. We'll knock the corners off the base. I did snow. You can see one look like snow, but if we don't, uh, if you don't dry brush the the snow on the trees, we can make it 
dirt brown. We can make some. We could even make some roots if we wanted to. All right. But anyway, that's my base. Okay, now it's just gonna round the bottom while we're down here. Take the corners off. We don't want to lose any uh, a lot of width because we want as much width on the bottom as we can. But we do want to take all those milled edges off. All right. All right. Now we'll just flip it around. Got the bottom ready. I'm just gonna just start hogging our way to the top. Got the corners first. All right. And then we'll go back to the middles. Just working our way. We got our center mark there, so we know if we're going to the center, we know we're headed to the center. If I wanted it to be lean a little bit, I would have just put that mark on the one side and work towards the one side and hold it the other side a little bit. But anyway, I am once again using my Harley knife from Pinewood Forge. Uh, someone was asking where to get it, and that is Pinewood Forge. Now, you have to keep an eye on him because he only makes a batch every once in a while. He has other knives there too, but this is the, the two inch Harley. And uh, I saw some sitting the other day, I'm sure they're gone already, but uh, they, can, they come up once in a while. Is it better than uh, a healthy or an OCC tool? Maybe not, but I was just saying on the last video that I was just, uh, I didn't like it at first, but now uh, I'm kind of warming up to it. All I'm doing here, you can see I got that basic shape there, so just get now the corners off it, right? Like so. All right. I put my carving glove on. I'm using this little uh, two-inch knife here, and uh, just that last little cut I just did there, it just touched my hand there. So I thought it, it's gonna bleed a little bit. So put my glove on, like I should have had on the beginning, folks. Where your glove? It happens. It happens to everybody sooner or later. But anyway, it's not a big deal at all. Don't worry about it. I just touched it, and I just didn't want to put any little spots if they come on uh, on my wood. But anyway, look at that. That is our shape, and uh, I dig it. Now, when I used to do like a chainsaw carving, we used to uh, do our tree, and we do like scallops, right? We would scallop the tree, like so. But I'm not going to do that. But that's how uh, I used to do the uh, when chainsaw carving, whatever. And uh, if I, I I turn this, but again, this is all too perfect. We want this crazy looking natural tree. And so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a ring. It doesn't have to be straight. We can go around on an angle. But this is going to be the most uh, craziest abstract. I'm just putting some. You can put as many rings as you want. Don't worry about being pretty. Nothing matters at all. All right. And I'm just, that's it. Just rough. Now, I'm going to put a little cross on here. Just like a, like a shingle or a brick. I'm going to skip one. I'm going to go down here. Then I'm going to move over here. I'll put one here. Put one here. See that? Just kind of shingling it. All right. But even the single 
don't need to be perfect and you'll see how we uh, we change it all up here but where am I I lost my way pop up pop, pop, pop okay here there we go so like I said it doesn't even that's not perfectly but all I'm gonna do on these I'm gonna make a, a triangle cut like that some of them are going to go like that some of them are just going to go crazy just all different triangle cuts and let's just start all right so i'm going to come in on an angle on an angle all right i'm just going to take that chip out of there all right just like that i'm going to make them clean while i'm there all right but i'm just going to do that i'm going to make some skinny ones All right, keeping them all clean. I'll make some some fat ones. As random as you want. All right. I'm basically just spanning that line. Go on an angle, but every time I cross there I'm making some form of a, a chip cut and if you know me especially when I do my noses and stuff I always say this is definitely one of my favorite cuts to do it should be a chip cover really I love cutting these little chips right. gonna work our way all around some lower, make some higher. Yeah. Anyone? Like I said, those those marks are just to give you an idea where, but it doesn't matter. How are we doing here? Did I miss any? That's one. There's one. Make this one higher. Tall and skinny. All right. That's about it. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, in two cuts, we're going to join these up. So whether I go across here and here or here and here, we're just going to abstractly join these. So if I start a little bit higher, we're sticking with our rings though, okay? Don't don't misunderstand. I'm going to cut this way, all right? I'm going to come lower. See that? So this one, I'll go here, come up. And if I, want to, I don't have to go to the bottom of that one, I can come up here. Just as long as it's all, all the same. See that? Not all the same. All the same grouping, right? So there you go. See that the top ring is done. And see how crazy that is? All right. So again, go over here. Just joining all those chip cuts with two cuts that again are very abstract.
and I'm coming up from the bottom so that I can get a nice edge on there, right? Down. I've done these trees many different ways. Maybe I'll grab, where did I put that? I wonder if my wife stole it. I have a, I have one of a, a video on Larry's happy Christmas tree. I wonder if it's, maybe my wife got her hands on it. Oh, there's one. That's not the one I was thinking of, but, oh, there it is. I have a video on that guy. If, uh, a lot more silly but the whole idea behind this is that uh, these don't have to be for Christmas these can be uh, for making little scenes or whatever or I plan on maybe making a little video of making a little little cabin right is a uh, just nice a uh, little little carving to add to our uh, little displays and whatnot right You get the point. Just gonna go here, up, come across here, up, like that. Just keeping them, keeping them abstract. Nothing is uh, try not to do anything too evenly. Right, so that. Okay, now on the bottom here, same idea. Going from the bottom. And down, but now we're in the bottom, so we can come right over to the edge. Watch my knife blade. See that? I go into the bottom like that. And I come right up like that. See that? Right. Maybe in the middle there, I'll put a little chip cut. Like so. Right. Keeping all of our our bottom cuts clean. All right. All right. So now it's a pretty big space here. So I'm going to go a little bit higher. Come up. Now I'll come across. Come up. All right. And then we got one more here. Now the bottom there is boring, so I'm just going to go across the bottom like so, and cut it down. Right. Look at that. Okay, now I've got a couple more steps to go, so we're not there yet, but now I'm just going to get take my knife, and I'm just going to do a whole bunch of little scoops. Little scoops. I want to uh, give myself as many opportunities for the dry brushing and this little texture as I can. So, lots of these little scooping facets. Really uh, gives it that really, uh, what do you call it, hanging feel. The bows. So, uh, scoops. Right to the bottom. at that okay one more step to do I'm going to uh, 
Let me see if we can show you here. See the little V cut there? See how that comes up like that? Same with that V cut here across. I'm going to go around to all my V cuts and I'm going to uh, bring one a little bit higher. So I'm just going to continue that cut up and I cut down. See that? And we'll rotate them back and forth, but I'm just going to choose one of those sides to bring forward. If that makes sense. Okay. Try to rotate them a bit, but just bringing one of those cuts up. Right. I think that makes sense. That's it. Be cut. Play it up. Just another another layer of texture is all that is. All right. Rotate this way. Now, let's look it over. We got an area that's a little bit bigger than the rest. We'll just put one cut in like that. We'll cut it up to it. Cut side to side. Just made another little bow. All right. So, looking over, I'm going to do one and say here. All right. That's a better candidate right here. Scoop up, go one way. And just added another, another bow, right? Was it good enough before I did that? Maybe. But all these little edges and corners that uh, that we make, especially, especially with the dry brushing, I just love. I like that corner. If I go a little bit deeper, go a little bit deeper then. He says to himself. There we go. There we go. A very quick and abstract Christmas tree. Clean up all your little fuzzies. And then put some some oil on it, and uh, that is our little Christmas tree. Pretty simple. Now I used three different uh, colors here. First thing I did, I I oiled all these uh, with linseed oil. Then I took uh, and this doesn't matter. You can use black, brown, whatever. This is burnt sienna, and I did a watered down base, and I just uh, did every little cut, just to give a, a shadow of a different, not a green, all right? I did under the tree, the bottom, up underneath the tree, and then up under every little cut that I did, all right? And then I took a, a lighter green. Colors don't matter, like even here, it's two different colors. This is full, or two different brands. This is full cart, and that's deco art. So, a lighter green and a darker green. So I used this uh, medium green and I did a green wash and I just wet the whole thing with a nice green wash. All right, just going over it with the, the wash right over all the shadow areas. And then again, took a, this darker hunter green. And with the hunter green, I just did a, a, a downward brushing with the green wash. All right, And then uh, just finished it up with painting the snow on the bottom, and then I dry brushed all the uh, tips, and uh, that was it. Just like that. Here's our little tree all oiled up. <laughs> oh yeah.
that's a fun little project so I do see a little cabin in my future it'll be a fun winter project to make a little teeny tiny cabin to go in amongst those trees but anyway have fun with it like I said before you can make it a Christmas tree if you want if you want to put a little take a little stylus and put little colored dots of uh, paint and uh, make them pop but uh, otherwise it's just a little ornamental tree and uh, yeah like I said quick curve fun to do and uh, that's it that's all I got Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you have fun. Wear a carving glove. I just got one little poke. I'll be fine. <laughs> but anyway, see you in the next one.